Hey everybody, this is AHA Computing. In a nutshell, I'm Alex Nugent. Uh, this is an attempt to make AHA Computing accessible for the rest of us. So what is an AHA node? Well, let me give you some examples. Uh, this is an AHA node. Okay, this is a symbol for a non-polar memristor. If you don't know what a memristor is, go click on the, the link. Uh, or the video that explains what a memristor is. Uh, it's a differential pair of memristors. Two memristors competing with each other, uh, in a sense. Uh, you have, um, have two memristors, and the relative values between them determine an output. So if one is more conductive than another, then the output would be positive, and, and vice versa would be negative. Uh, there's multiple types of AHA notes. This is the 2-1 configuration. Uh, this, this is a 2-1 polar configuration. Okay, so you apply your inputs here, differential inputs, VA and VB. So you, this could be plus one volt, this could be minus one volt. And then you extract your output here, uh, Y. Uh, so this is the 2-1 configuration, and this is polar because uh, we have uh, the bars. Uh, this is a 1-2 configuration. Your, your input is applied here, and you measure differential output uh, currents um, on YA and YB. Okay, so there's multiple AHA node configurations. Uh, this is an AHA node. Okay, this is multiple uh, synapses uh, all linked together. Uh, this is sort of the equivalent of a neuron, and these are the equivalent of its synapses. Okay, so this is the 2-1 configuration, and this is an AHA node with three synapses. Okay, so here's an example. We have an AHA node with three synapses on the left, and on the right we have an AHA node with one synapse. Uh, we also call this a KT bit, or thermodynamic bit, uh, for short, and we use this in some combinatorial optimization um, problems. AHA nodes are building blocks. Okay, we use them to construct circuits that solve our problems, and they're like a neuron, uh, but they're not a neuron. They're, they're like uh, logic gates, but they're not logic gates. Okay? They, we use them to build up solutions. And one of the, the biggest surprises in my life is when I realized that aha nodes are everywhere. Okay? And just go outside, go look at a plant, um, and look how it's built. Okay. And what you see is that it is an energy dissipating system constructed of many bifurcating channels. And every place where the energy flow splits, uh, you have an aha node. You have two competing energy dissipating pathways. Okay. So they're everywhere. Okay. We're, it, nature is built of aha nodes. It's nature's building block. Uh, at all scales, okay. So your your neurons built of aha nodes, your circulatory system uh, built of aha nodes, your lungs aha nodes, lightning aha nodes, rivers, deltas aha nodes. Uh, they're everywhere. This is what happens when energy is attempting to dissipate itself. Uh, it explores multiple pathways, and those pathways compete with each other over conduction resources. Okay. When you have that, you have an aha node. It's these. It's these competing energy dissipating pathways. And in our circuits, it's electrons, but in, in other instances, it's some other particle. It's, it's blood, or it's water, or it's neurotropins. Uh, you know, it's a different thing. It, and all that it, all it matters is that you have some particle that represents energy dissipation uh, or gates access to it, and you have to have some mechanism for that. Uh, for the energy dissipating pathways to compete with each other for conduction resources. And so you can make it very abstract to the point where it doesn't look like this. Uh, for example, uh, companies in an economy, two competing companies, are they're competing over a flow particle. Okay, that's called money. Money gets access to energy. The more of it you have, the more energy you can dissipate in the world. Uh, and there's a finite supply. And so competing companies, two energy dissipating pathways, competing for conduction resource money. Uh, that forms an aha node. Okay, over and over again, you see the same building block in self-organized systems. Uh, so it's it's nature's building block, and once you understand how it works, you'll see it everywhere, and you'll start to understand how things self-organize.